Hello, this is Ken with Power Source Electric Unlimited, and today we're going to replace a ballast. Um, it doesn't really matter what type, a T5, T8, T12, um, they're pretty much all the same, the wiring. And I'm going to show you how to um, take the old ballast out, put the new ballast in, what tools you're going to need, and um, all the way till turning on the light switch and watching it work. But this is going to save you a lot of money replacing the ballast. Um, if you have an older fixture, maybe 10, 20 years old, it's probably just better to get a new fixture. Um, if your fixture is only one or two years old, maybe five years old, replace the ballast. Um, a ballast usually costs around 20 bucks. A fixture is around $45, so there's really not that much of a difference between them. But let's take a look at it, and if you have any questions, check us out on PowerSourceTutorials.com. You can check us out at VetoElectrician.com, or check me out on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks a lot. All right, so this is the light fixture that we're going to fix the ballast in. It doesn't work right now. And um, we're going to take it step by step, make sure that we can uh, take the cover off, replace the uh, ballast, and get it working again. So let's take a look at the tools we're going to need to repair this light fixture. It's a fluorescent T8 light fixture. Okay, so first we're going to take a look at our new um, ballast. We're going to look at it a little bit closer, T8. Uh, that particular fixture is a four lamp fixture so you can look right here you see the four little lamps gives you a schematic we're at 120 volts which that's um, what most houses are and um, but it gives you a pretty good description of how we're going to replace it and then your black and white that's your power feeds and then you have your yellow blue red all those wires we're going to look at and see how to hook that up it's not too hard of a job and um, so let's get started. First thing we're going to need are the right tools for it. I have a pair of uh, standard um, wire strippers. Uh, we've got some orange wire nuts. They look a little red, but they're orange, orange color wire nuts, because the uh, wires in the, um, the wires for the ballast are pretty small. They're like a 16 gauge, 18 gauge. Uh, we have our voltage detector to make sure that the power is off. And then we have a regular screwdriver. Uh, it's actually like a five-in-one, eight-in-one screwdriver. And uh, those are basically all the tools that you need to uh, for this project. And I have my little nail apron here. I keep everything in. Um, and then there's our ballast. So that's everything we need to make the repair on this light fixture. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take the lens cover off. I'm going to pull it off to one side here. Pull it over the lip slide it off. Then I'm going to go ahead and take our, the light bulbs, give them a little twist to where the prongs are in the center. Now I'm going to take the belly pan off, which is this pan right here covering the ballast. And just give it a little squeeze and it pops right down. All right, so let's get a closer look at um, this light fixture here. Um, you can see we have the black and the white wire. We have the ground wire right here, black and white. And then you see the set of yellow wires right here. Follow those back. You'll see where they're connected. And then we come back and we have our set of blue and our set of red and we see where those are connected right over here to our tombstones these we usually call them tombstones or lamp holders whatever you want to call them but I call them tombstones and um, so now we're getting ready to replace this ballast take out the old one this is the old one you'll see right here at the end it just slid under two um, catches and then on the other side there'll be a screw right here that holds that in so we're going to take that screw unscrew it it's really short so just be careful to catch the ballast one as it comes out um, and then let's go ahead and change this out okay before I change this um, ballast out I'm going to make sure that the power is off there's no power up here so I don't get electrocuted I'm going to take my voltage detector right here uh, this one's made by Greenlee, but whichever one, Fluke makes a good one also. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my power 
No power going to the light fixture before I start disconnecting anything. I've already turned the switch off, but I'm just double checking because I don't like getting Now, shocked. as far as making sure all these wires go in the right place, you can pretty much see right here, red and blue um, wires. You see where they go to, but instead of trying to take them out of the tombstones right here, what I do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut them. Cut them right at the uh, base, right about here. I've already made sure my power's out, so I'm not really worried about any of that. And now I have the wires hanging free right on the end. I'll go ahead and do the same thing with the set of yellow wires. I'm going to go ahead and cut them here. Now my ballast is almost free. I'm going to go over to my power wires, which is my black and my white. And I'll go ahead and disconnect my white. Disconnect my black. And go ahead and take the wire nut off the ground. So now my ballast is free. Whoops, my ballast is free. And I can take my screwdriver and go ahead and pull that down. So let's go ahead and do that. So right where the screw is, right on this side of the ballast, I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew it. comes down, make sure I hold on to my screw, and then I'm going to slide the ballast out, and now my ballast is free. I can go ahead and put up the new one. Okay, so I've got my new ballast here. It's got all the long wires to it and everything, and I want to aim it in the same direction. I have my black and white wires here, and they're going to aim towards the black and white power wires that my fixture was tied into. I'll go ahead and slide it in, and then put my screw back in. And now my ballast is installed. Uh, next step is hooking up all the connections to it. All right, so I'm getting ready to start. I'm going to go ahead and attach my power wires. And I have my white and my black. Go ahead and trim them down because I don't need that much extra wire sitting up in the uh, fixture. It's just going to make it harder for the belly pan to go on. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, trim those wires back. And I'm going to attach my ground first. yellow wire nut for the uh, white because the uh, white coming out of the ceiling is just a little bit bigger. It's a number 14 and same thing with the black. So that, that section's already set, already done with the power wires. Next I'm going to go to my ballast and have my yellows. I have my two yellows coming from my fixture. I bring them right about to the middle here, come down about this far and now I can just cut them. Strip the I'm going to hook up one yellow wire from the ballast to one yellow wire from the fixture. Then the other yellow wire from the ballast to the yellow wire, another yellow wire to the fixture. Okay, leave those hanging. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to my reds and my blues. And repeat the same. I'm going to take a blue from the fixture and a blue to the ballast and go ahead and connect. Okay. So my blues are done. I'm going to do the same thing to the red. Now it doesn't matter which red goes in which red. It just has to be one from the fixture and one from the ballast. Same thing on the yellows and uh, same thing on the blues. Okay, my ballast is in. My connections are all made. And I'm going to give you a closer look at it. Alright, here we are. You can see the connections. Red to red, blue to blue. Wire nut on each one. There's my black, white, and my ground. My yellow connections. All right, and that's what it looks like. So basically, now we're just going to tuck up, tuck the wires up to where when I put the belly pan on, none of them get pinched. And you see the little catches right here and right there. That's where the belly pan slides into. There's one on each side. So you just squeeze it together and they'll pop right in. Alright, 
the belly pans on. Next thing is light bulbs. Well, we just put up that uh, ballast. We fixed it. It all works. Everything's good. Um, again, if you have any questions, check me out on um, Facebook, Twitter, probably the easiest one. I don't really take comments on my websites because I get too much spam. And um, anyhow, check it out. Come visit my website, powersourcetutorials.com, ovidoelectrician.com, and I'll catch you next time.